feels weird talking like starting a, a video and it's night out almost practically night out it's only like it's not even 6 p.m yet but <sighs> winter i love winter but i hate how dark it gets so early at night anyways i just got back home and i decided i'm going to try attempt to do like a vlogmas, but I'm just basically going to test myself to see if I can film every day, starting today. I did kind of miss the first four days of December, but that's okay, that's okay. And I'm not gonna do like a daily thing. I'm, because most of my day is taken up uh, by working. <laughs> so I decided I am just going to do like a weekly video and see how that goes because there are a lot of cool things going on in december in seoul for christmas and like i want to do them and i know i am more inclined to do things if i tell myself i'll film them which isn't exactly the healthiest thing to do but this is the beginning of the first vlog of December. <laughs> so today I actually have some things I need to do, some things I need to work on. I really want to clean my apartment and put up my Christmas tree today because I'm usually the type of person who puts up my Christmas tree at the end of November, sometimes even like the beginning of November. This is the current state of my apartment. Mm. Lovely.
just getting ready for the day. Today, I think it's going to be a very fun Christmassy day. So I'm planning to actually go a little bit out of Seoul today. Um, I'm going to go to Xi'an, which is like, I would call it like a suburb, like right outside of Seoul, like a suburb of Seoul, because it's still quite connected to the city. But it's also like not really part of the city. It's its, its own thing. Anyways, I'm going there today. Um, I have a friend that lives there. I've been there before. I've only been there once, like last year in summer. Um, but I'm going today because Xi'an has this like really big opened mall and they go full on out for Christmas. They decorate it and it just looks so magical. Last year, I was able to go back home for Christmas because um, my work schedule was just a little bit different from like most public schools, like the English center I was working at. But now this year, since I'm working at an actual public school, unfortunately, the semester does not end before Christmas. It actually ends like the first week of January. And then I have to do camp. I was stuck here in Korea for Christmas, my first year here in 2020, because of obvious reasons, no traveling. We got some snow earlier this week, which I was very excited about because I love snow. I've never had a white Christmas. Well, no, that's a lie. I have had a white Christmas, but that was when I was like a child. But could you imagine having a white Christmas in Seoul by myself? Lovely. So anyways, I'm going to take you along with me. I'm just gonna continue getting ready and yeah, I will talk to you later. <laughs> so now that I am ready, I think what I want to do first is go to a cafe, get some coffee, get something to eat um, because I don't have anything in my apartment. Let's figure out what cafe to go to first and then go. <laughs> to leave for work and my thing says it's snowing right now it's supposed to snow today so we're gonna have another snow day
so it did eventually snow. It is currently snowing outside. Um, but today also the, the qu air quality is not very good. Haven't been feeling 100% uh, the past three days. So I'm getting over a cold and I don't really want to spread my germs. So I decided just to come home. Also need to change out the batteries of my Christmas tree because they are dead and I have not been putting it on. What's the point of having a tree if you don't turn the lights on, you know? And I also bought some curtain lights to possibly hang here, which will look cool. So I'm just gonna have like a cozy night in. I really wanna order delivery, but I was checking the place that I really wanna do delivery from, they are currently unavailable and they are usually unavailable whenever the weather is not great. So I'm hoping that they're just unavailable temporarily and then that they'll come back um, now that it looks like it stopped snowing. So I'm gonna check that. I'm gonna order some food. I'm going to tidy up my apartment and then we're just gonna have a cozy night in. So I ordered from this one vegan, fully vegan restaurant called Loving Hut. And they actually have a few branches in Seoul. And from what I've noticed, each branch sells different style of food. So there's actually the closest one to me and their style of food is more Western. So they sell like vegan pizzas, vegan burgers, fries, but the one that I ordered from, they do Korean style food. So we got the bulgogi jjigae, all the side dishes, the mandu, and the fried chicken and rice. Looks good. I'm excited. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 